Fox and friends are going to blame Bill de Blasio for the murder in cold blood of two cops in New York City. Let's watch and pay attention to the clip they play of de Blasio because it sends the exact opposite message than the one that they think it does. There's no question that the mayor has to, I would say, just out of intellectual honesty, assume responsibility for launching a hate offensive against New York police officers. Uh, and, by the way, against the judiciary. The judiciary came back, a grand jury, and said that in the case of Eric Garner, no one need be indicted. The mayor apparently doesn't believe in the judiciary, and he doesn't believe at all in New York City police officers because basically what he says he had to tell his son that they're you know unreliable people the yeah. officers right. that his son could be in danger from New York City police officers Keith, there couldn't be a stronger indictment of the officers we actually had that soundbite let's play it real quick good young man law-abiding young man who never would think to do anything wrong and yet because of a history that still hangs over us the dangers he may face we've had to literally train him as families have all over this city for decades in how to take special care in any encounter he has with the police officers who are there to protect him. So rhetoric has consequences there. Could this have been prevented now that we're hearing this in the context of now two officers brutally assassinated over the weekend? The mayor says in that soundbite that he considers his son to be at perpetual risk, the dangers yep. he may face, he said, from police officers. Not that they'll protect him, but they, they may attack him. And this comes after the death, with no crime indicted, of Eric Garner, who refused to be arrested, yep. by the way. Uh, and so the mayor is basically saying, my son too could be killed by New York City police officers. And if the mayor says, I don't think I'm responsible in any way for the fact that someone then took murderous revenge on officers, then it is yeah. unbelievable. This guy has to go or the city right. is in bad hands. And Bill Bratton should go too if he wants to keep any of his, uh, with all the great things he's done in his career intact. And the other big thing is, in the big picture, retraining the finest police force ever. That's what they agreed to do, retrain them. What an insult that is. Dr. Keith, thanks so much. Well, the whole policing program with wearing body cameras and the rest of it is an insult to police officers. Thanks. It's an insult to implement a policy that studies have shown work to decrease police abuse. That's not open to discussion. That's a fact. It's a fact that when police wear body cameras, they are much more careful about how they use their power, how they use their authority, and whether or not they abuse it. That's an insult to police officers, he said. For them to be accountable is an insult. Understand something. The police work for us. We are their boss. And they are on the job at the time. So we, of course, have the right to demand that they're recorded. And he's saying that's an insult to them. And then the other Fox News dunce is outraged over the fact that we are retraining police to try to de-escalate the situation. Shouldn't everybody be outraged that that wasn't the training from the beginning? Shouldn't that have been the training from the beginning to de-escalate all scenarios? I mean, we've seen uh, situations recently that prove that the exact opposite is the case. There was a case where a 12-year-old got shot. The cops pulled up and within two seconds the 12-year-old was dead and the 12-year-old had nothing but a toy gun. And these idiots are out there saying, what, we don't need to retrain the police? We don't need to try to get them to de-escalate different situations? And again, they're blaming people who simply called, whether it's President Obama, whether it's Eric Holder, whether it's Al Sharpton, who I don't agree with on many things, but in this case, he's certainly not guilty of what the conservatives are saying he's guilty of, or whether it's Mayor Bill de Blasio. All they're doing is calling for body cameras on the cops, a uh, change to drug laws so that you don't have the perpetual harassment of people who are nonviolent criminals, which really, in reality, are not criminals. They're calling for the retraining of the police, like you just heard. They're calling for reforms to get communities to police themselves. They want programs where people from a given community can end up becoming cops in that community because they have a better connection with that community, and then you won't have as many instances of an outside invading army feeling when you have all white police forces in all black areas and they're willing to resort to violence much quicker. They're calling for common sense reforms, and because they don't 
rah rah the police department 24 7 with every word they utter now they're being accused of being complicit in murder how dare they man how dare they accuse that as if the people calling for justice all along calling for justice in the mike brown case calling for justice in the eric garner case and calling for justice in this case they're acting like those people are the people who are for injustice who were pro murder in this case i said it once i'll say it again we only want justice in all cases. So we want justice for Mike Brown, we want justice for Eric Garner, and we want justice for the two police officers who were murdered in cold blood. Now, uh, Ishmael Brinsley, who did it, has killed himself and he's dead, but if this was a situation where uh, he got away and then there was a debate about, you know, what are we gonna do, I'd say, have a fucking trial, and whatever the jury finds, okay. And guess what, in that case, he would have been found guilty. But in a case like we saw with Eric Garner, the prosecutor wouldn't even allow it to go to trial. And that's why people are angry. The part where they got angry at Bill de Blasio, where they played that clip of him, did you hear what Bill de Blasio said? His argument was, I need to tell my son, who is black, to be respectful and be careful with the cops who are there to protect him. So in other words, he said the exact same thing that all the conservatives want him to say. Because conservatives always say, Ah, goddamn black community needs to take personal responsibility and treat the cops right and be respectful. He just said that. He just said he wants his son to be careful and be respectful to the police so a situation that doesn't arise where his son gets hurt or his son gets killed or he gets arrested when he shouldn't be arrested. He said, be respectful, be careful, and the cops are there to protect you. What part of that was controversial? But they hear that clip and they act as if they didn't hear the clip because they come back from the clip and they proceed to bash de Blasio as if he said the exact opposite. There's Fox News in a nutshell.